students how are you today i am going to discuss with you about the creative question of chapter 5 you know in this chapter there are several important topics and this is a helpful chapter this is a helpful chapter to answer the creative question that is to fulfill your 50 marks of question because in this uh, chapter there are some important topics which you can easily identify like vinegar toilet cleaner glass cleaner and canning i think all of you are known about this chapter so let's discuss some creative question from this chapter so students i have written a creative question in board that is from fifth chapter first one is x sodium hydroxide y is ammonium hydroxide and z is sodium chloride first question is explain the role of z in canning process of food number 2 is which compound is effective at, to prepare glass cleaner of steel number 3 between x and y which one is effective as toilet cleaner that means first question is related to with sodium chloride second question is a, a question to you that which compound is effective to prepare a glass cleaner of steel and third question is between x and y that means sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide which one is effective as toilet cleaner analyze let's start our first question our first question is explain the role of z in canning process of food so here our z is sodium chloride you know now the modern method of preservation of food is a canning process in canning process a container is used to preserve that food first to take before to take in container the food a preservative will be added in food this preservative will help the food to keep fresh what is preservative you know the chemical substance which preserve food from microorganism is known as preservative so here a one preservative will be added with food to prepare uh, to keep safe food from microorganism because that microorganism are responsible for rotting of food so in this canning process now sodium chloride is used if so when we want to preserve food then we must use this canning process and in this canning process you must use use a preservative now come to the role of sodium chloride actually sodium chloride is a preservative it is a natural preservative if we use 12% sodium chloride in our food then it will be preserved for several days that means for long days but if we want to preserve food for a uh, for a short time then we can use uh, less salt than 12% now this salt how work is preservative you know salt is a salt is a water absorber substance that means it is a secondary standard substance so when we use salt it absorbs or it dehydrated food that means it absorbs water from food you know microorganism can be survive in a hydrated environment but when we use salt there then it totally absorb food water from the food and a dry environment will be create in food that's why the microorganism cannot be survive in that environment this way sodium chloride work as preservative so in canning process what is the role of sodium chloride in canning process i have told that in canning process of before uh, keep the food in the container first of all we add a preservative in that food so in canning process if we add salt in food then we keep that food in container then we can easily preserve food in that container that means sodium chloride has the role here as a preservative in canning process moreover how it work is at works as preservative it works as preservative it uh, by uh, absorbing water from the food and create a dry environment 
this is the role of sodium chloride in canning process in food canning process so this is the answer of our question one now come to question two the two number question is which compound is effective to prepare glass cleaner of steel? Students, you know, the mixture of ammonium hydroxide, rubbing alcohol and water is known as glass cleaner. Now, why ammonium hydroxide is used as glass cleaner? Why that is not sodium hydroxide? Because, you know, sodium hydroxide is a strong base. When we use sodium hydroxide in glass, then sodium hydroxide will react with the element of glass. You know, glass is prepared by silica. So, sodium hydroxide will react with silica and prepare sodium silicate. Let's see the reaction. So, sodium hydroxide react with silica and form And form sodium silicate. This sodium silicate is responsible for causing stain in glass. So the glass apparatus will totally be will totally full of stain if we use sodium hydroxide as glass cleaner. That's why sodium hydroxide can't be worked as glass cleaner. But if we use ammonium hydroxide, then you know ammonium hydroxide. Actually, the mixture of ammonia, rubbing alcohol and water is known as glass cleaner. When you use ammonium, mixture of ammonia gas, then ammonia produces ammonium hydroxide in that mixture. Like this way, when you use ammonia gas mixture, then it will react with water present in that mixture and form ammonium hydroxide. This ammonium hydroxide is a weak base. It does not work with the with silica of glass. That's why it does not cause any stain in glass. Moreover, it releases oil, grease, this type of dirt from glass. That's why we use ammonium hydroxide as glass cleaner, but not sodium hydroxide as glass cleaner. Okay, students? Now, come to our third question. Our third question is, between X and Y, which one is effective as toilet cleaner analyze? So, we started our third question. Students, first of all, you know, sodium hydroxide is a strong base, but ammonium hydroxide is a weak base. Toilet in toilet pan are made of ceramic. So, sodium hydroxide does not react with ceramic. Moreover, in toilet brain, oil and grease type of substance, oil and fat type of substance will be present. When you use sodium hydroxide, when you use sodium hydroxide, then sodium hydroxide react with this oil or fat present in toilet pan and make it so. That means, when you use sodium hydroxide here, then, this part will join with sodium. So here, 3 mole of sodium is required and the product is RCWONA plus CH2OH, CHOH and CH2OH. This is so. So students, when you use sodium hydroxide as toilet cleaner, then sodium hydroxide reacts with oil or fat and makes soap. Moreover, you know, in uh, soap, there are two parts. One is hydrophilic part, another one is hydrophobic part. Hydrophilic part is present in water, but hydrophobic part reacts with the uh, dirt present in toilet pan, react with it and take it in uh, and uh, remove it from the toilet pan. And dissolve it in water by joining with hydrophilic part. So this way soap work is cleaner. Now if we use sodium hydroxide then sodium hydroxide reacts with oil or fat present in toilet pan and make it soap. 
this way it can work as works as toilet cleaner but if we use ammonium hydroxide then as it is a strong uh, as it is weak base it can't be produced this type of soap or it can't be react with oil or fat in this way that's why we can't work or we can't use ammonium hydroxide as toilet cleaner now the answer of our question is between x and y x is effective as toilet cleaner Okay students, I think all of you are clear about my first creative question. Now start our second creative question. Students, now I start my second creative question. Sugar, H2 in presence of H2, it is converted to C6H12O6, which in presence of Zymes converted to B, which is liquid and oxidation is converted to C. First question is how A works as food preservative. That means here the question is related to it, sugar. Number two is write the preparation of C. So first of all, we must ensure that what is C. Then we make the preparation of C. Number three, how C works as food preservative. Explain. Okay, students. I, first of all, I give you the answer of one number question. How A works as food preservative. Here, our A is sugar. You know, uh, uh, pickles, uh, uh, jelly, sauce, this type of substance are preserved by sugar. Actually, concentrated solution of sugar is a preservative because sugar has the property to absorb water from food. Like salt, as it absorbs food, water from food, then a dry environment will be created in food. You know, microorganism cannot be survived in a dry environment. It's, it is survived in a hydrated environment. As sugar absorb food from the from, absorb water from food, that's why microorganism cannot be survived in that environment. This way, we can preserve food for a long time by using the concentrated solution of sugar. This way, sugar works as food preservative. Now come to our second question. Our second question is, write the preparation of C. To answer this question, first of all, we must prepare this or we must complete this reaction. Then we identify what is C, then we write the preparation. So let's start our second question. Okay, students. So to answer the question, first of all, we fill up this reaction. So sugar is C12H22O11. Sugar is C12H22O11. When it is hydrolyzed, then it is converted to C6H12O6. In presence of gymnase, it is converted to C2H5OH. That means ethanol. So here it is our B. So when ethanol is oxidized, is oxidation or oxidized then it is converted to ch 3 c o h c o h so it is ethanol and it is ethanoic acid so here our c is ethanoic acid so now we prepare ethanoic acid you know Ethanoic acid is used as preservative because 6 to 10 percent aqueous solution of ethanoic acid is known as vinegar and vinegar is works as, vinegar works as food preservative. So let's start our vinegar preparation. Vinegar is prepared from the juice of sugar cane. You know in juice of sugar cane blue, uh, sh sugar is present. When sugar is hydrolyzed, then it is converted to glucose and fructose. In this case, we use several type of enzymes. In our first case, that means when we uh, hydrated or hydrolyzed sugar, then we use invertase enzyme. So, invert in presence of invertase enzyme at 30 degrees Celsius temperature, sugar is converted to glucose and fructose. After that, in presence of gymnase enzyme, glucose and fructose is converted to ethanol. Then, in presence of microderma ACT bacteria, this ethanol is oxidized and converted to ethanoic acid. 
So let's look the reaction. So when sugar is hydrolyzed in presence of invertis enzyme at 30 degrees Celsius temperature, then it is converted to glucose and fructose. This is glucose and this is fructose. Now, this glucose and fructose, glucose and fructose reacts in presence of gymase and gym and convert it to ethanol. Convert it to etha, ethanol and carbon dioxide. This ethanol is oxidized in presence of mycoderma ACT vector and converted to ethanoic acid ethanoic acid at 35 degrees Celsius temperature. So by taking this ethanoic acid when we prepare ethanoic acid when we prepare 4 to 6 percent aqueous solution of this ethanoic acid then that is known as vinegar so this way we prepare vinegar okay so i repeat again first of all we take sh uh, sugar and then it is hydrolyzed in presence of invertis enzyme at 30 degrees celsius temperature then it is converted to glucose and fructose after that this glucose and fructose is reacts in presence of gymase enzyme and converted to ethanol then ethanol is oxidized in presence of mycoderma acetobacter and converted to ethanoic acid. Then when you do 4 to 6 percent aqueous solution of this ethanoic acid, then that one is known as vinegar. I know you are now curious to prepare vinegar. So let's start. Take the juice of sugar cane and start at our reaction. You can do or you can prepare vinegar in your home also. Okay, students. So this is the preparation of vinegar. So students, our third question is how sieve works as food preservative? Analyze. You have seen in my previous question that C is vinegar. So let's start how vinegar works as food preservative. You know students, vinegar is the 6 to 10 percent aqueous solution of ethanoic acid. You know, acid has a property that, that it releases hydrogen ion in solution. When it releases hydrogen ion in solution, then the pH of the solution will decrease because pH is the negative logarithm of concentration, molar concentration of hydrogen ion. So if the amount of hydrogen ion is increased, then pH value will be decreased. So what happened there? When you use vinegar in food, then it releases hydrogen ion, hydrogen ion in solution. And you know, this hydrogen ion is responsible to decrease pH of solution because pH means negative logarithm of molar concentration of hydrogen ion. So if this hydrogen ion, that means the concentration of molar concentration of hydrogen ion is increased, then pH will be decreased. But students, you know, pH, pH 5.4 to 7 5.4 to 7, this one is an effective environment for the microorganism to survive. So, the, you can, uh, you can uh, tell it in this way that microorganism can survive in this environment, in that food where pH will remain 5.4 to 7. But when we use vinegar, then the pH of food will decrease to 2.35. That means it is a less value than 5.4 to 7. In this range, that means in this pH value, the microorganism cannot be survived. That it will be destroyed there. This way, vinegar works as food preservative. Okay. But what is the difference between salt, sugar and vinegar? 
as food preservative the difference between these three things are salt and sugar works as food preservative by keeping the environment dry but when we use vinegar then we have seen that it releases hydrogen ion which decreases the ph value of food and by this way it works as food preservative okay students so i think all of you are clear about these creative questions also so students no more today i discuss here two board creative question of this chapter i think all of you will read this question in your home and practice more and more question of chemistry to make a brilliant result in chemistry okay best of luck all of you will remain safe in home goodbye